Hello everyone, welcome to Fusion Podcast, the destination where you can connect with professional in all aspects to enhance your day-to-day -day life and your future. You will be enlightened with 15 to 30 minute interviews with these professionals, followed with a DJ theme set to brighten up your day. Excited for our journey together here at Fusion Podcast. Welcome to the family and now presenting to you, yours truly, your host, myself, Andrea Arenas Vasquez, also known as Ace Fusion. Today, I proudly present to you episode number three. Today's guest is a very special guest, and I'm not even going to say a lot because this guest here today is going to enhance your day-to-day -day relationship habits with your finances. So who's ready? Because we have here today, Jewel Robinson. Hello, Jewel Robinson. How are you? Oh, I'm doing well. Thank you so much for having me. I'm super I know, excited. I know. Me too, me too. I know you're the subject matter expert here. The way I found out about you was through a great friend of mine who said that you specialize with finances. And then I looked you up and you are a superstar. I'm super excited because <laughs> I looked you. you up and everything from your YouTube channel with the <laughs> gems and everything you have to share about finances. I was just like, that's it right there. I want her yes. on my show. I want her on Fusion Podcast. So I'm super excited to have you here today. And uh, yeah. from my perspective, I, I have a couple questions for you. Yes. And I know that this, this could resonate with anyone in the world right now listening. So I am super excited. So are you ready to share with us? Just I'm ready. Can you tell us a little bit about you before we get into the questions? Just Absolutely. So a little bit about myself. So I got into the financial industry because I went through just a lot of issues just with my family dealing with, of course, the passing of my father. And it's kind of seeing how my family kind of balanced that or rather didn't balance that. And it kind of got me to thinking there has to be a better way to do that. So my family kind of went through the financial struggles and the burdens of having to deal with the loss of a loved one on top of the finances. I know there are a lot of other people out there that are going through those type of struggles. And I just got me to thinking on the path. And when the time was ready, you know, I just started on the path in the finance industry. I've been doing that since 2013, found my way, found my passion, found a really, really good cause and just developed it into my own platform, which is creating healthy financial habits. So that's what I use. That's my number one go-to, no matter who I meet, it doesn't matter your income level, the budget. I always want to get down to the meat and potatoes of who you are financially and how we can better create better habits for you. So yes, that's me. I'm also, oh, <laughs> I'm still going my bad, but I'm also, um, I've been in the military, Marine Corps, Semper Fi, over 21 years. So still chugging and going with that. God bless my body for continuing to oh, go. Wow. <laughs> Absolutely. So definitely doing that. I'm just trying to, you know, make sure my, my platform is out there for my gyms. I call my fans my gyms. So you all are my gyms as well. So absolutely. I'm, I'm super excited to share my platform today on, um, a fusion so yes wow wow i know everybody <laughs> right now is excited now to hear even more what you have to share with us yes. today and uh i want to dive in into the first question so excellent by the way excellent intro i'm 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 so excited for what you have to share today and i'm so excited for you to just you know and enhance our day-to-day -day life because that's why we're, that's why a lot of people are tuning in right now because they want to see from a person who's starting or doesn't know where to even start? How do, how do I build a, a, a healthy financial relationship mm -hmm. with my finances? I, I would like to know that because I know a lot of us right now are dealing with this pandemic and right. we may not know how to get started. We may not know like which, rate, which way to go right now. Some people are unemployed. Some people are employed, are self-employed, right. have businesses. So how do we even start with this financial journey of freedom and, and just being at peace and you know with money just you know a healthy relationship just like any other mm -hmm. relationships we may want to have healthy so how do we even start with this financial journey from a professional standpoint because i know you're the subject matter yes. expert today boop, boop, boop. Yes. can you share with our with the rest of the gems and with the rest of the family here at fusion podcast how do you even get started with building a healthy relationship with with money 
Yes, absolutely. I always start with the basic building blocks. You first have to know who you are in relationship to money. So finding your personality, your financial personality. And you know, to be honest, I always joke with all of my customers and my clients and I say, you know who you are. You, you fit into one of three categories. Either you're a spender or you spend first, save later, an absolute um, saver or save first, spend later. And then the fifth category is like a do nothing type of category. People are like, what do you mean? What is a do nothing type of spender? Well, the do nothing type of spender is a person that's constantly finding money in purses that were, you, you know, you, you haven't opened them since last spring or, you know, people who find money in the couch that you're not doing anything with your money. You're not saving it and you're absolutely not spending it. Now, a lot of my clients tend to fall into the spender categories, just who we are. It's okay. Embrace it. I tell people, hey, you don't, don't be shamed. It's okay. A lot of people spend. First, identify that, and then we peel back the onion from there right? Because me, I can be honest with you guys, I'm probably a saver. I am a saver. I'm the, oh, I got X amount of money, got $5, I will save $5. It's just me, again, going into my background of who, of how I grow up. So speaking of backgrounds, so your financial characteristics come from who you are and who you are around growing up. Your complete background, I often tell my clients, go back to your childhood. Go back to who it was who raised you. It doesn't have to be mom or dad. It could be a guardian. It could be your grandmother, uncle. Who was it? How were they with their money? Because the closer you are to that relationship, we tend to mirror those as we go through life. So to give you an example, I'll use myself. So I grew up with two savers, right? So it's no coincidence that Apple didn't fall far from the tree with me. I'm an ultimate saver. I say my friends joke and they're like, you still got the same money in your purse from January. And I'm like, I, I might, I might. I'm just an ultra, ultra saver, but I grew up with two savers. They were just like, they got it and went into the bank. They got it and went into the bank. And there's nothing wrong with that, but perhaps finding a better balance with that. I meet a lot of clients who maybe had one parent who was a spender. You were used to going to the mall every weekend. It's just what you did. And you came home with bags. And that's what you, that's just what you, how you grew up and what you did. You may have had, uh, and I call it a, um, a yin and a yang. So maybe one parent was a spender and you have another one that was like, we need to save more. Oh my gosh, we're not going to have enough money. So you grew up with that dynamics. And as you go on, after you graduate from high school, it doesn't matter if you go to college, you go to the military, you kind of take that and mold it into yourself, into who you are. But yet and still, the apple doesn't fall far from the tree. So when we look at that and we identify that, you're able to, even by hearing me saying, ah, you know what, I get that from my mom. I get that from my dad. I get that from my grandma. You know, my grandma's always like, you know, the old wife, you better save something for a rainy day. And you're like, oh, okay, that's a saving mentality. Save for a rainy day. Or you may have grew up in a household that's like, you only live once. That's kind of a spender type of mentality, but we don't label it like that. We're just like, that's just who I am. So knowing that pattern with who you are and then saying, Jewel, okay, now I get it. Now I, I kind of understand a little bit better about how I am and what I do with money. Now we can kind of move from there. So to give you a little idea of how I move from there, a lot of people fit into just a few categories and how you kind of further build your relationship to money. So I always say money is at the root of everything. We are either spending money because we're celebrating something, right? Your weddings, your baby showers. Sometimes we're spending money because we're, we're um, in mourning. You have your funerals, the loss of a relationship. You're celebrating, you're mourning. You are just doing one of the two, no matter where you are in life. You tend to be operating around that and everything else in between there is the day-to-day -day stuff. The day-to-day -day stuff is like groceries. You know, I don't know, maybe some people may mourn when they get groceries, but for the most time, that's just a day-to-day -day thing. So making sure you know where you are on that because that also develops. I wanna share just a tiny bit of story on how this kind of all came together for me. So I had a client of mine, was working with her, and again, she didn't know her financial um, characteristic, her trait. And in talking to her, one of the things that I found out, again, you listen, is that her mother had recently passed. 
And one of the things that her and her mother did is they went to the mall every single Sunday and just spent the time together. They shopped, they ate, it was their day. And again, that's still spending, but again, you're celebrating that time with someone you love. When her mother passed, she went into a form of grieving. So she went to the mall every single Sunday. And except for this time, she was spending an absorbent amount of money because she was filling that void of the loss of her mom. And literally when she was telling me the story, she started to cry. And she was like, oh my gosh, I, I didn't know that's what I was doing. I just know, and when I say she was at the mall on Sunday, from open to hello, everyone in the mall, we close at five o'clock today till five. So that means she ate at least two times and she went away with at least five or six bags every single Sunday. And it was affecting her budget because she was like, well, how come I don't have money over here? We peeled it all the way back. And this is one of the things I want all of my gyms to know. I never judge and I never tell you what to do. We always reach an agreement together. And I asked her, you know, how do you feel about going to, going to the mall on Sunday? She was like, I really do like it. It reminds me of my mom. I said, so basically what you want to do is kind of just cut back on the spending, not, not going to the mall. That was fine. She just, can you help me just not go so I don't spend as much and I can have more money for my children, for myself, for, you know, what we were doing with her portfolio. So we hacked out a really, really good plan and we put parameters on it. We always made sure there was something for her to go to afterwards. So what time do you normally get to the mall? We normally go at 10. Okay, how long, you know, do you think you can stay to kind of get the feel? So like at 10 to 12. Okay, so you're kind of having like an ice cream cone or you maybe having, you know, the corn dogs. I know how we do at the mall. We go crazy. And I said, after that, how about then maybe going to a park and then, you know, going for a walk with the family and walking it off instead of just staying. And I said, just try that out. And again, it didn't, it, it took her time to get out of that rhythm. But after that, again, you'll find out those healthy habits. So from that, you go to spending less, to exercising, walking in a park, you're doing all the, you know, the jungle gyms and stuff with your family. So they're not getting enwrapped into your process of mourning. They go, they have a different association with the mall now. We can go shop and then, ooh, now we go to the park and we have fun. And then after that, I was like, maybe even go to a movie or go home and do a barbecue. So we gave her all of these ideas and, you know, I, we did it for maybe like 60, 60 days, so two months, because it takes a minute to get it going. And then finally she was like, you know what, Joel, this really helped me. I, I didn't realize, you know, that just taking a step back from the mall didn't mean I didn't love my mother anymore. It didn't mean that I couldn't grieve her or mourn her. It just meant I was developing other patterns, developing other habits surrounding that. And then from there, literally we were able to do different budgets so she can see, oh, wow, I'm saving. And again, we went from saying, you know, to spending easily $300 every single Sunday to, you know, I cut it back and maybe no more than a hundred and she could get it down to where, why do I even need to spend? I, I just was here last Sunday. It's okay to just walk around the mall and window shop. And then we were able to use that money towards our portfolio. So that is the significance of knowing your financial characteristic trait, how it impacts you and then saying, now, how can I improve on that? Wow. Wow. That's, <laughs> that's beyond amazing. I, yes. I just have to, I just have to interject because I just want to, yes. I just want to, to, to tell you, thank you for sharing that because a lot of us may not know that we're in that cycle yes. and it may not necessarily be a negative, negative cycle. Yeah. It could just be, it could just be, um, uh, one of those cycles that, that you don't know how to get out of because right. of, of what you're used to, what mm -hmm. you used to knowing and what you already do every single right. day, either eating out or just doing it because you want to, you know, um, express yourself to your family that you love them and all that. Yeah. Like, like there's just different reasons why people spend. And yeah. I love, I, lo I love how you provide a safe space for, for your clients to just be able to share yes. that, you know, it's, it's okay that, that you have that habit. Now, let's take a few steps back. How right. could we make this habit that you've already been doing for so long? Yeah. How, can we, how can we put something in, in, in replace to, to be able to make you feel full at the same time? You know? yes. Because a lot of us, you know, like for myself, like I remember when I was in 2009 or 2008 entering the United States Marine Corps, I had yeah. crazy, really bad habits. And I can express to you that I broke down 
And I think that for a lot of us listening right now, if we're in that position where we're like, I know for me, it took for me to say enough is enough. It's yeah. enough for me to live from paycheck to paycheck. I didn't like that. I started to ball cry and I went into a Navy Federal. I could remember it was in Okinawa, Japan, and I sat down across from the lady and I just started bawling and saying, look, I'm tired of living paycheck to paycheck, but I just don't know what to do. I don't know how to start a budget. I don't know what that's like. I don't know how to start this financial thing. My mom never taught me. Yeah. You know, how to. She was a spender. My mom yeah. was a spender <laughs> trying to yeah. cure from, from her past. Mm-hmm. On Child. her past, right. You know, and, and she never got taught how to deal with money. You know, we yeah. came from Puerto Rico to New York to try and have a better living. Yeah. But I never saw good habits from my mom. So I carried that into the Marine mm-hmm. Corps where I started to see a bigger paycheck than what I was used to when I started working as a teenager in Burger King. Right. So that jumped up a couple, you know, right. I started to have at least a couple more hundreds. Then the commas came in and then I started to like, you know, I was addicted to sneakers. I was addicted to mm-hmm. Things that I thought that would make me happy. Right. And, and I just wanted to point that out because if, if yes. you're in that position, just know that you're not alone. And for people like, you know, amazing human beings like yourself, Jewel, that you can you can help people realize that they can they can change their habits in a healthy yes. way. You know, that yeah. that's why we're here today to, to share that with you all, that the habits could be built, you know, guidance is what we need, and just yes. someone to be there to to you know, to hold us accountable, like, hey, you know, your, your family's there waiting for, for you to, to, to build healthier habits for your whole yes. family, because potentially this affects us, maybe yes. not today, but years later, mm-hmm. when you want to get a new home, when you yes. want to get into that new car, that's when things start affecting us, because if we're overspending, that means we're not mm-hmm. paying certain things that we're supposed to, Right. that's when the negative reports come in from, you know, yeah. from credit karma, and you're like, okay, hold up. <laughs> Now, this is a whole different topic about, yes. you know, credit scores, but ultimately building healthy habits financially yes. will, get us, will get us to, you know, have a better credit score. So please, can you enlighten us with, you know, how do we even get started? Like, do you, what are, what are the resources for anybody wanting to build healthy habits? And, you yes. know, I know, I know you have probably some more nuggets to give us, but yeah. on top of that, please tell us where could we, where could we, who could we go to? Like, yeah. What are what is the platform that you have to offer for anyone out there wanting to get started? Please yes, absolutely. Us. You hit the the nail on the head with two things. With one, um, who we are, people are always watching you. You are a mentor. You're being watched no matter if you think you are or if you're not. There's someone watching you right now and saying, "Hmm, I wonder how she or him or they can eat out as much as." as much as they can. And they're saying, oh, if they can do it, I can do it. But they may not know your patterns behind that. So being able to acknowledge that is such a key point so that, again, if you do have, you know, you're mentoring or if you have family members who are watching you, you're not creating those habits for them, number one. Number two, you said something else about um, just not knowing what to do. You know, we are a product of who we grew up with. It's just who we are. Our parents did the best that they could, just like mine. I don't look at mine and say, you didn't teach me how to do anything else. Because believe it or not, just when you're a saver, it doesn't mean you're saving for the right things. It just means you're hoarding it from other things. So there's definitely pros and cons to everything. So I always want people to know that no matter no matter your income level, whether you think, oh my gosh, I'm just scraping at the bottom or you jewel, you know what? I got this many zeros behind the comma. No, if you don't have that healthy budget from like you working at Burger King, like me, my first job was at Captain D's (laughs) down in Georgia. If you don't have that first initial how to deal with it, it doesn't matter if you go to be the VP, the president of company, you're going to take those bad habits with you. So don't think it's going to change the matter of um, the bigger, the bigger the income, the bigger the budget, it doesn't. You just have more money to spend. You have more money to do the wrong things with or create bad habits with. So getting to your next point of why should they choose me as their financial specialist for a few reasons. I, I keep it honest. You can come into 
Um, my virtual office, as I say, is confidentiality. The things that we say are definitely kept between the both of us. I specialize in personalized portfolios. So your portfolio is different from everybody else's. Why? Because you're different. You have different goals. You have different ambitions. You have a different life. The way you want to align yourself with retirement or may not be retirement. Some people want to have a second job. Those things are who makes you who you are. And I take those into um, into account when we go ahead and do your portfolio. Um, there's no middle people. So when you call me, you get Jewel, you get my voice. There's not a, she'll call you back when she gets to you or you never get to talk to me. You know, you get to talk to me and I get to talk to you. I have access to multiple carriers with my business. So it's not just one, it's not a, a, um, a cookie cutter. Either you fit this product or you don't know. I will find what's best for you. If you say, hey, Jewel, I have this medical problems or I have this, let me just, the more you tell me, the more I can better help you. And one of the things too, people are always asking as an independent broker, I am supported and certified by the National Insurance Producer Industry, which is the NIPR, which is pretty huge. And I've been approved and verified by the Department of Insurance. So across the board, I do have my credentials. I am backed. So I'm certified on all levels. And honestly, what you get with me that you won't get with these bigger, bigger businesses is that one-on-one. -on -one. You get me. You get all of that. You don't have the receptions. You don't have, you know, the, um, the ooh and ah and the lack of interpersonal um, attachments, those, apart those partnerships and businesses. So that's what you get with me in choosing someone like that. I wanted to go over. Oh, no, go ahead. I just wanted to tell you that you really have a way to making me feel comfortable. And, and I know reading based off your I, I I uh what I did a couple of days ago <laughs> last week, I was stalking you a little bit <laughs> and I saw so many amazing reviews and I really can't believe how how of a safe space you provide for anyone, no matter how broke, no matter yeah. how much money they have, and no matter how bad their habits are, yes. you are there to help and that's your main goal. And I'm really, really excited because I, I need you to tell us a little bit about the platform that you have in regards to YouTube for those that can't even afford a financial advisor or a financial specialist, because I know right now we're in hard times and right. I know that you have that to share too. So if yes. anyone's going through it financially, I know that you still have doors open for them, whether it's yeah. on social media, on your YouTube channel. Can you just tell us about <laughs> what ways can we find you? That way we can, we can start our healthy relationship with money how, how do we get that journey to start with your platforms please let us know absolutely so i'm going to give you um your covid19 financial tips because i know a lot of us well obviously well, all of us are in covid19 and our budgets we used to be up here people lost their jobs they got laid off the hours or got cut so i wanted to you know kind of definitely always like to leave people with that good feeling and before i get to my platform so just remember if you still are employed Go to your benefits. Make sure your benefits are up to date. Make sure a lot of people now didn't realize that their health care, which you initially opted for, say, two, three, 10 years ago when you were at your company, go back, revisit it. Because health care is a huge factor when it comes to budget, and it takes chunks out of a paycheck if you don't have it. Also, make sure your insurances, people like me, make sure that's up to date. So you're looking at who are my beneficiaries? Because a lot of people, they get married and forgot to put, you know, maybe to put a new spouse or a significant other, and then they get divorced and they forget to take them off. I do see a lot of that. You know, I'm like, hey, is such and such still your beneficiary? They're like, no, we got divorced like three years ago. I'm like, you need to change this. So just keeping up to date with that um, during the COVID. Um, Determine what's most important to you and your family. What are those essential needs and wants? We have wants. Right now, we're not in the time of want, especially if your budget is really pinched. But determine those essential needs and then go from there. Plan for emergencies because now is the time where people, you know, it doesn't matter. Before, you could have a flat tire and it didn't mean anything. Now, with COVID and with unemployment, it really does mean a whole lot when you have that one car and it's dependent on how you get to work and how you bring home an income. So plan for emergencies. Plan for the unpredictable. What if a member of your family comes down with COVID? What is your plan? 
We plan for, you know, fire drills. We plan for now, we have hurricane season coming in. We plan for those. We need to plan for these health, healthcare scares, because those are hitting a lot of families a little bit harder than what they're normal to. And also, work from home options. There's so many work from home jobs now. Um, just to, to give you guys a few, there's a virtual assistant that I see a lot of those. You can be um, writers for all kinds of companies. What they do is they just hand you basically a few stacks of paper and they want you to proofread it and you get paid for that. So those are the top two things that, I'm, uh, that I've seen are out there, but there's plenty of out there, virtual assistants, virtual everything. So if you find yourself at a what do I do, there's a lot of avenues out there to even generate just a little bit more income to help cushion that. So moving on to the fun stuff with my platform, my gems, my goodness, I started my Financial Gems with Jewel YouTube channel because money. Oh, I do. Oh. I, I wanted to say <laughs> something because gems, what does gems stand for? Yeah. Yes, yes, yes. So gem, <laughs> so gem is like a dual meeting. I started my platform um, when I, I won Miss Veteran Delmarva. So the gems platform is gender equality, multicultural support. I am a firm believer of um, inclusion and diversity within the home, within the workplace, within all of that. So my gems, actually the acronym, that's what that means. I kind of plug it in for all of those reasons. Oh, I really just have to tell you how much <laughs> love and respect I have for that. That really just, you just opened up the doors for many other amazing, the, I mean, the queer community feels, yes. it feels accepted and loved right now. I love you guys. So, so yeah, look, gems, gender and... equality, gender yes. equality. So yes. that's even more motivation to work with you because yes. come on now, you're just opening the doors for all, everybody to just come and feel safe with you. So I just wanted yes. to point that out. Oh my, I'm so excited. <laughs> All right, but now back to your platform. Yes, yes, yes. I'm open, I'm honest. I, I make safe environments for people to come be yourself. I want you to talk to me, you know, before we get started, talk to me, tell me how your day is. Tell me how, how you are. I want to get to know you and you'll get to know me. So yes, my Financial Gems with Jewel um, YouTube platform is my baby. I've been able to really wrap my hand around how finances just impact us on so many levels. So I had a Monday segment, which is my Monday motivational Monday segment. I go over relationship topics. I go over education, how finances impact all of that. My Wednesday top six was was my hump day habits or my wet Wednesdays because I have some racy gems out there that I um, always want to talk about those topics that are taboo, but we always talk about them. So take a look at that. And then my fun financial Fridays are just like that. Sometimes I hit a lot of the topics that are going on in the public and just kind of bring the finances into them to say, hey, this is how this would affect the finances if you're going through that. So I made it a well-rounded platform so I can hit all the topics. If you're just like, just give me the facts. Hey, fun financial Fridays is for you. If you like some of that, just, ooh, taboo stuff. I got that for you too. And it's all about fun. Uh, you'll be able to look at it. You'll be able to laugh. I laugh. You can laugh with me. You can laugh at me. As long as you're having a good time and you're actually receiving and being educated by my facts, I love it. So that is definitely one way that you can reach me, my Financial Gems with Jewel. Also, my, my webpage is Jewel Robinson, super easy. And that's where you can go and find out a little bit more about my services that I do on my platform. The name of my company is Jewel Robinson Insurance and Financial Services. So learn all about me. Even hit the fun facts page and say, oh my gosh, where she's lived over here. Just you can stalk me all you want and just get your full of Jewel. I love it. If you if you're an IG person, JR Finance, super, super, super easy to remember. And you can stalk me and message me on there. And I do get back to you. So I love it. I can't wait to hear from my gems and we can just just build a better healthy financial habits together. Yes, this has just been amazing. This is I I really do. I've again like from the time that we first spoke till now i fall more and love, more and more in love with what we do together to be able to bring this value to the people that are listening right now together as a team as a family and i'm super super excited to have you as a guest for the third episode and bringing this financial value and uh 
Thank you so much. Wow, that's a lot to take in. I know a lot of people yeah. listening right now are probably like, ooh, that's a lot to soak in. <laughs> but little by little, yeah. they can listen to this. You know, they can rewind it. That way they, they don't miss a beat of, of this amazing episode. And uh, I don't know if you're aware, Joe. I don't know if you're ready for another amazing fun part about this Fusion podcast. And I know you know that this Fusion podcast holds conversations, important values. We, we bring we bring value in this fusion podcast and then we bring music into this. Yes. Right? So yes, bring yes. it into the music component. How has music, how has music, if you could give us a brief, amazing, uh, just tell us a little bit about how music has affected your life, maybe financially or just overall. How has it motivated you? I'm not going to tell them your song. I'm going to let them tell. <laughs> I'm going to let you tell them your song and how this motivates you to live your day-to-day and enhances your day-to-day life because that's what we do here at Fusion Podcast. After an amazing, full value conversation, we have some amazing hits to go with after the conversation. Could you yes. tell us a little bit? Has music impacted you in a positive way? Can you share with us, please? Yes. Oh my gosh. Music, music, music. I, I grew up with music. You know, we come from the generation where, you know, I did my chores with music on. You know, there's music always in the car. My mother played music. Even in the house, when we weren't there, she just left the radio on. She's like, the music needs to be there. So I grew up with music and I've been able to just adapt it with, through myself. So for me, oh, it was so funny. It's tickled my song, my go to song, my. Get my 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 mind right. Get myself in the right mood. Honestly, it's just Lil John. Turn down for what? That's my song. I always envision myself, you know, going out on stage, accepting my awards, you know, doing my seminars and doing my speeches to that. Why? Because at the end of the day, I'm living my dream. I'm living my passion, and everything else doesn't matter. You know, turn down. Why? Why do I have to, you know, water myself down because someone else says, oh, Jewel, you're not doing it this way. You're not like this person over here. Oh, you're missing out on this person. No, 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 I'm not. I'm actually talking to the people who want to hear me, my gems who want to say, Jewel, we, we want to hear you. We like you. You like us. So that's me just, you know, getting pumped up. And I do. I told I told Ace, you know, I, my, lucky for me, my neighbors aren't too close, but I will crank it up and just let it go just to get that <laughs> vibe for me. And that's that's my go-to jam. And anybody who knows me is like, yep, that's little John. Oh, she's playing that, that's, yep. Turn down for what, let her go. She's, she's getting her mojo back. So I love it. You know, music always helps me, you know, in that therapeutic way too, to just, you know, sometimes you do, you get, life can, you can just, you know, bring it down just a little bit. You need that pep up and music just definitely brings that up for me and gets my spirits back up, puts a smile back on my face and it says, you know what? There's somebody else out there who who wants to speak with you, who can benefit from you and you from them. Find them so they can find you and you can be on that journey together. So definitely that's how music's always helped me out. Wow, 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 <laughs> wow. That's amazing. Thank you so much for sharing that with us. That's you're so welcome. You're 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 being vulnerable with us, like just telling, you know, just telling us how music, you know, music could take us everywhere. Yes. All emotions from happy to yes. sad to so it's it's a lot, you know, it's a lot that 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 music, the journey of music could just take us everywhere and anywhere. And uh, yeah, but now we're, we're here. It's, I'm so sad that we're getting close to the end of this episode. Yeah. But um, any any last words for our, our our listeners out there? Just any last words, Jewel, that, that you could have for us that you can you can enlighten us with. That way, you know, we eat, we end on a strong note. Just like this whole episode has been just filled with amazing, just amazing gems that you have thrown at us. I'm so excited. Yeah, can you absolutely. give us a few last words? Absolutely. I always like to leave on a motivational mo- um, a moment and a tone. So for the gyms, hey, don't beat yourself up there. We're all going through this struggle called life together, called COVID-19 together, COVID-19. Don't beat yourself over it. You're not the only one going through it, but we will get through it together. Make sure you, you if you start a budget, when you start a budget, just stick to it. And if you, if you get off a little bit, it's okay. Rome wasn't built in a day and you're not going to figure it all out between today and the next day. Just start over again. You have me as an accountability partner and you can have each other as an accountability partner. You don't have to go through you by yourself. And at the end of the day, you're still going to be a winner. You're still learning. You're still growing. And that's what life is about. So I'm here for you. You're already winning in my in my book, I'm just here to just help you along that path so we can get more trophies and more, I call them trophies, your budgets and your dreams, your financial dreams can come true together. 
Wow. Thank you so much. You're, you're so welcome. You thank you for a, having me. You are a rock star, Jewel. I, I really you. respect you so much. You know, I, I really appreciate you coming to, to just be a guest here at Fusion Podcast. I'm super passionate about this podcast and I couldn't have chosen an amazing, a, a better individual that, that could share about finances and how to build that, that, you know, healthy relationship with money. And that yes. was the whole purpose of this Fusion Podcast. So for everybody listening out there, thank you so much for tuning in on this episode number three. Uh, building healthy habits with, you know, with your finances. And uh, we're about to get into tunes, but I know a lot of you know that in Anchor, we're having just a conversation. But if you wanted to listen to the mix after this amazing conversation, make sure you tune in to Ace Fusion Entertain Entertainment LLC. That's where you can find the conversation with the music and with the mix that I am creating for you. It's going to be full of jams about money and some of Jules' favorite hits that has helped her throughout her whole journey and you know her marine corps and her financial business building career and i'm just super excited but we'll catch you on the other side and don't forget on episode number four we have a very very special guest a guest now we're gonna bring in some musicians here a music producer i don't know if you know andre hidalgo AKA too strong. Make sure you stay tuned because this amazing gentleman has amazing ways to show you if you ever wanted to build a successful career in the music industry, no matter what, if you were a singer, dancer, this next episode will be for you. So make sure you don't forget. And uh, yeah, we'll see you on the other side. Thank you everybody for tuning in. DJ Ace is in the mix. Show you how to get it, it go right foot up, left foot slide, left foot up, right foot slide. Basically, I'm saying either way, we bout to slide. Hey, can't let this one slide. This one slide. Don't you wanna dance with me? Two thousand shorties wanna tie the knot. Two hundred shooters on my brother's block. Pedal off the roads like I love a knot, maybe not. I don't know what's wrong with me, I can't stop. Won't stop, won't stop, never stop. Got so many ops, I be mistaken ops for other ops. Got so many people that I love out of trouble spots. Other than the family, I gotta see the either you and me. That's your side, think it's either you and me. This life got too deep for you, baby. Two or three of us about to creep where they stay in. Black leather glove, no sequins. Buckles on the jacket, it's elite. Nike crossbody, got a piece. Got a piece. Gotta dance, but it's really on some street. I'ma show you how to get it. It go right foot up, 
left foot slide, left foot up, right foot slide. Basically, I'm saying either way we bout to slide. Hey, can't let this one slide. Sides up in this bitch. Yeah, I smell like the boat. I used to sell so I did play the block. Now I play on boats in the south of France, baby. Sandro Pay, get a tan. I'm already black. Rich, I'm already that. Gangster in the lane. Hit the head in the hat. Call that a little rap. Yeah, quit the chit chat. The big gun, big the bread. A barber, I cut your head. A marksman, I spread a lead. I blood clot chop your leg. Now I'm wanting with the kid. I get biz with the cig. I can win your leg. You dig? I get it. I get it. Yeah. I run New York. I get it. I get it. Yeah. Yeah. Straight up, dog, we have to make the food. And on the street, we also feed the food. Yeah. Tell them so we have to get the food. So we have to get the food. In the streets, you know what? Kill us a cross. Forget the money. Zaga, zaga, zaga. Me and myself, forget the money. Someday in a jail, I still a try to make the money. Oh. Yeah, man. Sasko, collect the money. Rasta man, don't apologize. I says, I get the money. Slow down. Keep it and collect the money. Yeah. Papi, get the money. Yep. Scooby. Ellie, get the money. For me, yeah. Ooh. Bling, get the money. In and I'm one gag and collect the money. Ting a ling a ling, shop around to get the money. Mama spend her last and say they go class. Driver, do you still a get the money? Stop, stop, stop. Conscience a get the money. Wally for work where we put in. 365, it no easy, we also feed the money. I think I forget the money. In the streets, I forget the money. No, if I make a phone call, I forget the money. Money, if you make some money, I do forget the money. Some different the tariff for the money. East, South, North, and West for the money. Some stress, but some bless for the money. Jamaica, not leagues run fast for the money. School boy football, them a kick for the money. This Jackie a big tune a spin for the money. Gamblers a bet 'cause them a try win the money. Taxi man drive the worst for the money. Not to mention Chichi bus for the money. Some a fight and a cost for the money. Gully bop, rise out of the gully for the money. About it. We take yours while you pout about it. Truck, step out, boom, uh, wanna crowd around it. You can see me on Optimum TV. Uh -huh. On your bathroom, turn the light out, scream, Bloody Mary. One, two, three, chic ain't your usual friend. But I can set you up like highs and walk straight at the end. I'm done with ice and charms. I'm trying to ice my whole past when I'm gone. Pull up with class on the dawn. Once I meet him, I greet him. Kiss his feet for freedom. Tell him thank you, Lord. Cause on earth I was getting bored. Now resurrect me back to this cat called sheep. So I can make this album and get back the cats that's weak. 2.30, 6.2. Me punch for you, that's like a cat versus a pit bull. Gun, no flip bull. Keep hunger and plan for the future. Cause you figure you gon' be older. Way longer than you gon' be younger. Money, key to life. Money, pound, respect. What you need in life. Money, pound, respect. What we eat and ride. Money, pound, respect. What sleep at night. You'll see the light, what's the key to life? Money, power, respect, what you need in life? Money, power, respect, what you eat and ride? Money, power, respect, money, power, respect, money, power, respect, what's the key to life? Only time to tell how the clock tick. I really love him, but I'm still a high school. 
hostage. Two personalities, check the posture. Smoke out the mouth, flare out the nostrils. Thinking death, the life seems scary. I pass the graveyard, seeing people hear Mary. I ain't chilling. Till I'm out parachuting, race my man and my own climbing for about 10 diamonds. 25,000 apiece, forget streets. Trying to own the island, forget about wildin'. Try riding in the car that be gliding. If I showed you where I live, you would think I was hiding. Sling bricks, see chicks that don't speak English. Wake up to Trinidad, like touch it, I'm rich. Come back, private jet, live on set. You can spit gold, I can spit forget. Money, pounds, spit what you need in life. Money, pounds, spit. I want you, wanna be ballers, ballers shot callers, brawlers, give me your number, I bet she gon' call you, come on dog, she want you to spoil her, Christian Dior with them new Fendi bags, anything is good cause it's better than she had, she's sitting at the bar and she looking so sad, talking about, uh, I'm running ride in your dad, uh, 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 I wanna ride to your house, I said easy chick, I fly to my house, I live so far, I think I live down south, why don't you pull it out my pencil, put it in, put, put it in, you put it in, Sitting at the back drinking beef and glico, the rose lethal. You know how we do. Before the battles came, you wasn't fucking with my neck. My homie say what's up, you saying nothing to my neck. Come on, girlfriend, why are you fronting for my neck? They come in the paper, it's nothing for my neck. Don't you know we got that money? Let's go. Don't you know we got that money? Let's go. Man, you ain't getting nothing from me, y'all. You better get your own. Get it out my face, girl. She ain't got no money. That's locked in the bang. When you hit the bricks, new whips, money ain't a thing. Come on. Yeah, I want the floss for dust. Come on. All across the board, we burn it up. Yeah. Drop a little paper, baby, uh. toss it up. Yeah. Slacking on your pimping, uh. turn it up. See the money ain't a thing. Flex the road, sign a check for your horse. Jigga style is love, X and O Save all your accolades, just the dough My game is wide, all names aside Trying to stay alive, hundred down for the bracelet Foolish ain't out, a chain to strain your eye Twin platinum, sun aim for the sky Ice on my b- as soon as I pull it Willies wanna rub shoulders, your money's too young See me when it gets older, your bank account grow up Mine's is one zero 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 old up Damn near out the rear trunk when I roll up Motai till I close up, it's all basic I've been spending hundreds since they had small faces yeah. Rob your stash out, doubled out down in Vegas Me and JD got it locked crazy Where you at, haters? Jaguar, switching four lanes Top down, screaming out, money ain't a thing Bubble hard in the double law, flashing the rings With the window crack, holla back, money ain't a thing 
nigga, I don't like it if it don't gleam, gleam in the hell with the price, but the money ain't a thing. Bring it down hard for my dogs that's locked in the vein. When you hit the brick, you win. All the pretty girls, the pretty girls in the world, in the world, in the ugly girls too. That's the thing you putting anyway, baby. <laughs> you give me your number, I call you up. See your head to rock. I don't have no trouble with you, but I have a little problem with you. Girl, you know I'ma take care of you. Cause you say you got my baby and I know it ain't true. Is it a good thing? No, it's bad, bitch. For good or worse, makes you switch. So I walk on over with my crystal. Bitches, niggas put away your pistol. Dirty won't be having that in this house. Cause bitch, I'll cripple your style. Now that you heard my charming voice, you couldn't get another nigga. The Gucci won't get moist. If you wanna look good and not be bummy, yo, you better give me that money.
Hello, hello. Welcome, welcome back, everybody. I hope you enjoyed that mix. Money, 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 money makes the world go round. I'm super excited that you were able to join us here today at Fusion Podcast with episode number three featuring Jewel Robinson. Thank you so much again for tuning in. And I just wanted to let you know that this next episode, episode number four, we have a very special guest all the way from New York City. We have Andre Hidalgo coming up next. So make sure you come back and tune in to our next episode to continue to, en to enhance your day to day life and to continue to enhance your future with me, Ace Fusion. And I'm super, super excited. And uh, just wanted to let everybody know that, yes, the conversations, you can hear it on Anchor, Spotify, Radio Public, and all of those amazing platforms. However, if you want to listen to the mixes, always make sure to subscribe to YouTube, Ace Fusion Entertain Entertainment LLC, and there you can listen to the conversation and the mix. But for now, we'll see you soon, and can't wait to see you all and, and hear from you all, and for you to join us here at Fusion Podcast episode number four. <laughs>